Uh, my name is Reuben Israel. I live in Los Angeles. I am a Christian and uh, I'm known what's uh, called a street preacher. You lost your mind. You hate God. No, you despise God. God. And you're going to wind up in a hellfire when you die. And you deserve the God of the Bible to throw you into hell. Time for you to repent. You're a sicko, a wacko. We preach in the streets. There are some street preachers that just see a corner and then they preach uh, and there's nobody walking around. Uh, we not only preach in the streets, we go to where people are. Yes, I've uh, had violence over the years and it's, it's part of the course. Well, I'll tell you what, if this was, if this was 1920, I'd take you out there and I would, I would I'd drag your, cra your ass all the way across town. Do it now! Do it now! Do we not have a responsibility yes, to, preach to, them and to tell stand them. together to tell them. and preach to these children in love? This is very not loving. In hate. My brother was very this loving. Not loving sir. You're my brother was this very is loving. an act of hate. No. And there is no hate in Jesus Wrong. Christ. Wrong. So, sirs, I rebuke you. It's not working. I We're still standing. It's not working. When you preach the way God wants you to preach, you will get criticized. Jesus Christ said, except a man be born again, he cannot inherit the kingdom of God. That's a condition to salvation. You better watch yourself there, young man. You're going to get hit by that bus. You're going to get hit by that bus, and I don't think you're ready to meet God right now. I don't think you're ready to meet God. Watch yourself. You're going to get hit by a car. Jesus Christ made it very clear. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth because I testify that the world is evil. Just simply because mankind is soon going to be facing hell fire, that should be enough motive to go out and preach. Believe in Jesus the Christ, the Son of God, who died on you on the cross for your sins, who rose from the dead, and who's coming back one day to judge you. Time for you to repent. I hope you're not on this list. You're going to die and meet God there, fellas. You need to believe in Jesus Christ. Don't wind up in hell fire. You got a hammer? This is your idol, Mary. This is what God thinks of Mary. The reason why I take a confrontational approach is because it's biblical. I mean, I don't see any of the prophets or any of the apostles uh, having a lemonade stand for Jesus. Welcome to Los Angeles. God's trying to get your attention. Even in your hotel rooms, you've got a Bible. Make sure you read it. Uh, in my Christian life, I've been arrested more as a Christian than as a heathen. As a matter of fact, as a heathen, I was pretty much a, a good person. I had wonderful parents that taught me well, but as a Christian, I have lost count as to how many times I've been arrested. You run away from home, you run away from church, you run away from God. Time for you to repent and go to the God of the Bible. Time to get serious about the God of the Bible. Time for you to repent and know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Time for you to get that blood of Jesus Christ and repent of your sin. Been smoking some dope? My message is very simple. Expose the problem, give the remedy. My whole message is very simple. Repent and believe. That's the order of appearance. I would like to address some of you upcoming uh, street preachers. You have to understand, you're not going to be a pulpit preacher. Uh, you're not going to preach in very nice places. As a matter of fact, where God will send you, it's going to be a little bit dirty. Because one day, I'm going to die. And I'm going to be with the Lord. And all this will be yours. We're in South Central Los Angeles. Everybody thinks of LA. Not everything that glitters in Los Angeles is gold. This is a place the police don't even want to hang around. Just to my left, you'll see some uh, candles. Looks like somebody just recently got shot right there. And uh, I hear sirens in the background. This is the projects. It don't get any worse than uh, Beirut around here. 
Time for you to repent. Time for you to serve the living God. Time for you to stop calling young black girls hoes and stop calling each other nigger and repent of your sin and turn to the living God. The day I am concerned what people say about me is the day I hang my megaphone up. Read the Bible, everybody. Don't forget about Jesus Christ. Don't forget to pray before you take a bite of your food. Be thankful to God. Just the basics. You don't want to take advantage of God's mercy. He Their prophet night, Muhammad one night, married a seven-year-old girl. Let's see who can shout louder. What? <laughs> what person nice is voice. going to actually marry a, a seven-year-old girl? Yeah, I can't believe this. that. This is when tonight somebody He's gets a raped. Pedophile. It's this guy right yeah. here. <laughs> you want to see how how peaceful this guy's religion is? No, I have a question. Go to the nearest airport. Go to LAX. All that security, okay. his religion. It's not because of Buddhists. It's not because of uh, uh, Methodists. It's not even because of Hare Krishna's. Your religion, bad, bloody, and Mohammed is a pedophile. Mohammed is a pedophile. If I offend everyone I come in contact with and not offend God, that's where my uh, heart is. Since my hand is to the plow, I have not looked back. This one here, these are some of the old guys that we used to have in the 80s because the homos would spit on us so much and we didn't know where the AIDS virus came from. We used to actually preach with these on so that the spit wouldn't go into our mouth and our face and our eyes. And so, uh, you know, it looks like just a regular guy's garage. Barney Franks I bumped into about uh, two years ago, and he and I went nose to nose. And Barney, boy, I've never heard a homosexual get so upset. Jesus on the cross said, it is finished. His blood shed was enough. You need to be faithful in your own city. How faithful are you in your own neighborhood? So uh, maybe you see some videos and you want to fly to another country or another state. For heaven's sake, be faithful, be a beacon in your own city. Where in the Bible do we actually find the word Pope? We find the word evangelist, prophet, apostle, but we don't find the word Pope. We don't find the word nun. We don't find the word cardinal. Could it possibly be that your church has outgrown the Bible? We find the word disciple. We find the word prophet, evangelist. There are titles in the Bible for men of God, but somewhere along the line, the word Pope is not found. Like the word purgatory, like uh, baptizing babies, that's not found in the Bible. Your church has lied to you. In the church. What do you mean being a bully, you little crybaby? Your church killed people like us. Your church killed people. Two guys show up with a sign and you say bully, you little half a homo, you little crybaby. You ought to look at the bloodshed of your church. It's almost like the Muslims. You've killed more people than you talk about. Two guys show up and you say, yeah, stop being a little bully, you little crybaby. The sin that really gripes me is when a church or a religion takes God's name in vain. This is my little bad cave where I do most of my special effects stuff. and. Um, I made this late last night, I was thinking, um, I hope to God this ajars somebody's reality, that uh, all of their works look as gross as this. Isaiah the prophet says, your works are as filthy rags. This is what your rosary looks like to God in heaven. This is what your confession on Saturday looks like to God from heaven. This is religion. This is the Word of God. And, and if you go beyond the Bible, this is what you look like to God. 
This filthy, unclean rag is what you look like to God. That's what the Bible says. Wicked and perverted is your tradition, which void out the word of God. You have more faith in your tradition than you do God's word. You have more faith in your tradition than you do God's written word for you and I. And because of such, this is what your tradition looks like. I don't need a Joel Osteen church. I would rather have a few men who are willing to give up their life, who are willing to walk holy before God and echo what God wants done to mankind. You give me those men, we'll shake up a city any day of the week and twice on Sunday. And so I do a lot of visual aids uh, in the sense that, he, just like Ezekiel did. So he's, he's my hero as far as that. There's more to Christianity than just going to church on Sunday. There's more to Christianity than just going to church on Sunday.